What's up everybody? So this actually should have been something I took care of in the other videos about the air coolers. This is kind of a little bonus video that we're gonna run today because I have some um, other questions I need to answer on this and I figured you guys would wanna see it as well. So if you haven't noticed, um, I've been going through a couple air coolers. I already posted a video of one, the Scythe um, Mugan 5 Revision B and I got a couple other ones that I will be going over later in you know future videos. But as we consider what air cooler to make version two, we need to really consider you know, the size of it. Um, a lot of the air coolers I have are, are tower coolers. They're all nickel plated, so a little better off than this one. But I need to know, can, uh, can the motherboard support that weight? So I need to figure out how much this weighs. So we're gonna do that today. So we're gonna figure out what this uh, little cooler weighs with, uh, with a full tank, and then we're gonna, we're gonna try to build it into a PC. So I have an old case, I got the old motherboard. We're gonna build it up like a normal computer and we're gonna see if the motherboard can support the weight of this thing. And uh, if it can't, we need to reconsider what, what air cooler we're gonna use. Because some of the air coolers that I'm gonna be using are quite large. And if we you know, water cool them, they're gonna be quite heavy. So I need to know, is this as big as we can go? Or do we need to look for something more low profile? What do we need to do in order to build something that can be mounted in a computer and used for daily driving? Okay, so first we're gonna test the weight of the stock 212 Evo with the fan on it, and we're gonna see what that weighs, and then we're gonna put on the box, which I've already filled with water. Not nah, leaking still. And uh, we're gonna see what that weighs. So let's start with this one. So the weight with the fan and the heat sink, it looks to be 549.2 grams. So now let's see what this, this Boss Haas weighs. Jesus. Looks like we're sitting at 1,634.3 grams, uh, which is more, uh, which is a lot more. So we're gonna see, uh, we're still putting it on there and we're gonna see what happens, so who knows. But let's get to building here. So beautiful. Nah, not so much. Functional, also <laughs> also debatable. But, you know, it's in there. I have everything set up. The side panel obviously is not gonna fit back on, but that's not why we're here. Also, you know, the power supply and uh, hard drive, and you know, a lot of things are outside the case. And that's because, well, one, this case wasn't meant for water cooling to uh, an extent such as this. Also, um, if, if this thing does fall off and explode, I'd rather not lose my power supply if I don't have to. So we're just gonna leave it like this because it, we're not really trying to pack this in the case. We're just trying to see if this 1600 pound beast is gonna break this motherboard like a little bitch. So let's fill it up and see what happens. Uh, right now it's empty. I think, well, I think I'll boot it up just to make sure that the motherboard even still works because I've been having issues. It's slowly been dying. Some dim slots have went out. It's on its last leg, so, you know, rip. But we'll turn it on without any water, see if it, see if it even boots. Also, the screen is not ideal for you guys, but my apologies. It's, there's a, hey, I don't know if you can see that back there, but it, it is coming up. So uh, things are still working. Let's see if we can get logged in here. So we are into Windows. So everything is still working, surprisingly, uh, on the old motherboard. Uh, obviously, if it does break, we're gonna lose the old graphics card, but ah, it's a 580, it's had its, it's, had its time. So let's turn this off, fill this up, and see if, uh, see if it breaks, I guess. If it doesn't, then we'll see what the temperatures are when the, when the, the water's going in this side, flowing up through and out the other side. So far, everything is still on. That's a, uh, we haven't black screened yet.
Looking good. So we got the pump running full speed and I'm looking in there and I'm not seeing any bubbles this time in the fin stack. Uh, we filled it from the bottom up and this time we did it a lot slower so that helped get all the air out. So we're looking good. I wonder if the thermals will be any better than they were last time. And surprisingly, the board's holding pretty, pretty steady here. Not too bad. So everything is holding steady and um, the water block or water tower, whatever, the air cooler is completely covered with water now. I don't see any if, I mean, maybe a couple, but the fin stack's pretty much bare. Uh, it's pretty much clear of all bubbles. So we should have the best case scenario for this cooler. Water's coming in the bottom. It's gonna go up, around, through uh, the fin stack and out the top through our radiator and into our pump. And everything's looking good. No leaks, surprisingly, and everything's holding steady on the motherboard. And we're still up. So it's time now to run Prime 95 for 30 minutes and see if our temperatures are any better than they were the last time we tested it. So here we go. So it's been 30 minutes, we are still dry in the case. <sighs> did you see that coming? Because I don't know if I did. And it, actually the motherboard is still holding strong and the system is still on. The test ran pretty much flawlessly. We're still running though the same settings, the 4.8 gigahertz on the i5 2500K. And for this configuration, the air-cooled water cooler did the test. It idle temperatures of 39.8, an average peak on the package temperatures of 62.6. And the room temperature today is 19.9, giving us a delta of 42.7. So it did slightly better than the last time we tested it, I'd say within the margin of error. So really no, no real change. So I guess those air bubbles really didn't do as much as we thought they were. But more importantly, the motherboard could hold it. So I don't know. I mean, this thing what weighed like a little over 1600 grams. So I don't know exactly what the breaking strength is of a PCB board, but we know it's, uh, it's not 1600. So we can move forward with a design similar to this. Obviously, you know, we're gonna need to find something a little shorter because the case would, at least for this case, we wouldn't be able to get the side panel on. All in all though, I think it looks pretty cool. We've got a little RGB light shine on there just to give it a little bit extra awesome. But what did you guys think was gonna happen? Did you think the board was gonna hold it or did you think uh, all hell was gonna break loose? I will say I, I was on the fence. I didn't know for sure. I was more concerned of leaks since now we have um, the stress is a little different. You know, the load is handled a little different now than it has been before, but I will say things have held up pretty well and I can't wait to see what comes out of this next. So thank you for watching. If you haven't, if this is actually the first time you've seen this thing, go back and check out the other ones and make sure you get subscribed because we're not done with this. This is just the beginning and it's also great fun. See you next time.